the world seems to be locked in a race for AI supremacy. And while all the headlines are focused on who can build the next revolutionary AI model, a different kind of war is being waged, a war over infrastructure. The United States holds the lead, mostly because it dominates the world's most advanced semiconductor chips, the very lifeblood of AI. This control has become Washington's primary weapon, a bottleneck designed to stall its biggest rival. But what if China has no intention of being choked out of the AI future? What if, instead of trying to win the current game, it's decided to change the rules entirely? Beijing is quietly executing a master plan, shifting the focus from software and models to the physical foundation of the digital world. This isn't a story about another chatbot. It's about how China is fighting back with something far more ambitious, a new generation of hyper-efficient state-controlled data centers meant to build the engine for a new AI empire. And it might just change who controls the future of technology. Welcome to Limitless Tomorrow. At the heart of this counteroffensive is a colossal national project officially called East Data West Computing. It's as ambitious as the name is literal, building a unified network to move the immense task of data processing from the crowded, energy-hungry cities of the East to the vast, resource-rich provinces of the West. This isn't just about building a few new server farms. It's a state-mandated reorganization of China's entire digital infrastructure. Since the project began in 2022, direct state investment has surpassed $6 billion, driving a total investment of over $28 billion with private sector contributions. But that number is climbing rapidly. The goal is to create a system where a company in Shanghai can seamlessly tap into massive computing power from a data center thousands of kilometers away in Guizhou province, where energy is cheaper and the climate is better for cooling. It's a vision of unparalleled scale, an attempt to turn the nation itself into a single distributed supercomputer. This grand vision is being built on a few key pillars of innovation designed to address China's biggest weaknesses, the first is a relentless pursuit of hyper-efficiency. For years, data centers have been notorious energy hogs. China is determined to change that. Beijing has set aggressive national targets, mandating that the average power usage effectiveness, or PUE, of data centers must fall below 1.5 by 2025. For context, a PUE of 1.0 is the theoretical ideal, and the global average sits somewhere between 1.5 and 1.8. But China's leading facilities are already shattering these goals, and new procurement rules will demand a PUE of less than 1.3 for new projects. Some experimental projects have even reported PUEs as low as 1.04 a figure that is nearly perfect. This is being done through radical new designs. At Alibaba's Qiandao Lake Data Center, water from the lake itself is used for cooling, slashing energy consumption. In the north, waste heat from servers is being captured to provide heating for entire communities. And in pilot programs off its southern coast, China is testing underwater data centers using the ocean as a natural, zero-cost coolant. This obsession with efficiency isn't just about saving money. It's a strategic imperative to support an explosion in AI computing without crippling the national power grid. The second pillar is a direct assault on the U.S. chip blockade, achieving technological self-sufficiency. In a clear signal of its intentions, Beijing has now formally barred state-funded data centers from using foreign-made AI chips. 
This has forced a nationwide pivot to homegrown alternatives. At the forefront is Huawei, which is rapidly scaling up production of its Ascend series AI accelerators, like the Ascend 910C. Some sources indicate the company plans to produce around 600,000 of these chips in 2025. While they may not match NVIDIA's top-tier GPUs chip for chip, they are becoming the default for China's tech giants. Companies like Alibaba, Baidu, and Tencent are now rewriting their code to run on this domestic hardware. Huawei's strategy isn't just to copy NVIDIA, but to build a better system by tightly integrating thousands of Ascend chips with high-speed optical networks. They are creating massive, unified computing clusters that can outperform rivals on specific AI training tasks. This is China's answer to the sanctions. If you won't sell us the best components, we will build a better system. The third pillar is the deep integration with green energy. The East Data West Computing Project is intrinsically linked to China's massive renewable energy capacity. The Western provinces chosen for these data hubs are rich in solar, wind, and hydropower. National policy supports the direct transmission of this green electricity to power the data centers, with a goal of increasing renewable energy use by 10% annually. In fact, an ambitious policy goal mandates that new data centers and national hubs must source at least 80% of their electricity from renewables by 2030. This creates a powerful feedback loop. Demand from data centers justifies more investment in green energy, which in turn provides the clean, cheap power needed for China's AI ambitions. All of this hardware serves a purpose that is fundamentally different from the West's. While Silicon Valley has focused on consumer-facing AI like chatbots and image generators, China's strategy is overwhelmingly industrial. This is the concept of the AI Factory, or the AI Plus initiative, the deep integration of artificial intelligence into every part of the real economy. Instead of just chasing higher scores on AI benchmarks, China is deploying AI to solve tangible, physical world problems. In a textile mill, an AI agent adjusts thread tension and inspects fabric for flaws, boosting productivity. In some cities, City Brain AI manage traffic flow and emergency response. In advanced, dark factories, AI-guided robots handle the entire production line, 24-7, with no need for lights. This focus on industrial application is creating a massive market for digitalization. Over 421 national-level showcase factories and more than 10,000 provincial-level digital workshops are already in operation. This state-driven, sector-focused approach is China's core competitive advantage. The government isn't just funding research, it's creating the market and forcing adoption through national initiatives. The goal is to use AI as a tool for total industrial modernization to gain an unbeatable economic edge. The consequences of this strategy go far beyond industry. They represent a systemic challenge to the current global technology order. By building a self-reliant hardware and software ecosystem, China is neutralizing the impact of U.S. sanctions. Controlling the chip supply becomes less potent when your target no longer needs your chips. But the ambition doesn't stop at its borders. As China perfects this model, it is beginning to export it. Through initiatives like the Digital Silk Road, Chinese companies are building data centers and deploying AI solutions across Asia, the Middle East, and Africa. This data center diplomacy allows China to set the technological standards for developing nations, creating spheres of influence 
and locking in partners for decades to come. Of course, there's a darker side. This same infrastructure that powers smart factories also enhances the state's surveillance capabilities. The dual-use nature of this technology is undeniable. The very tools that optimize a supply chain can also be used to monitor a population, turning this technological race into a battle of competing values. The open, market-driven model of the West versus a state-controlled, authoritarian vision. The global race for AI is often framed as a sprint to build the smartest model. But China is playing a different game. While the US and its allies focus on building a faster car, China is building the entire national highway system, complete with its own gas stations and a new set of traffic laws. Its state-driven, infrastructure-first approach leverages its unique strengths, centralized planning, massive capital investment, and a relentless focus on industrial application. By creating this self-reliant ecosystem, Beijing aims to render Western sanctions obsolete and establish itself as the indispensable digital backbone for much of the world. The defining question of the next decade may not be who can build the smartest AI, but who will build the world it runs on. This is Limitless Tomorrow. Subscribe to explore the forces shaping our shared future and the paths that might still lead us out.